and eventually became the Republican nominee. Despite being a charismatic war hero, he did not have an easy ride to the nomination. He went on to win with the indispensable help of a Democrats for Eisenhower movement. These crossover voters were attracted by his pledge to bring change to Washington and by the prospect that he would unify the nation. And for that reason, you decided that you're for Barack Obama. Well, that's right. I, that uh, article was written on February 2nd, which was just before Super Tuesday. And I thought it was important to write it then so that people understood that there was a, um, a figure who I thought really could unite this country. Get a lot of calls from member, other members of your family? Oh, well, actually, my family. We're all very supportive of each other. It's a wonderful thing. But I did get a lot of mail, I'll tell you that. A lot of mail. From not just family members, but old Eisenhower Republicans? Actually, yes. And you'd be surprised how many of them said, uh, you know, I'm not going to take a public stand, but I'm supporting Obama, too. I was surprised by that. Then I got a lot of other uh, emails from people just saying, what a surprise, that type of thing. Did you have a long talk with David Eisenhower, married to Julie Nixon? Well, that's right. Uh, we've had lots of, well, he loves politics, so we never stop talking about that. And uh, my father is already a registered uh, independent, as I now am. Uh, and so this seems perfectly natural that we should choose our candidates and go for it. What was it about Barack Obama that prompted you to move to him? Well, first of all, I got to know him about a year and a half ago, and I was absolutely impressed by the fact that he was completely open to uh, the expertise of people who came from different parties. Uh, and it wasn't just me he was calling, he was calling others in Washington, and this, frankly, is a pretty novel approach uh, in Washington political scene. Uh, and uh, the more I saw them, the more I, I liked his style. Uh, he has a way of uh, disagreeing without being disagreeable. He has a way of bringing people together and, and giving them the impression that uh, uh, they really uh, they really matter. It's that's critical, by the way, for for projecting and and really exercising leadership. Perhaps no president in American history was better prepared to become commander in chief than your right. grandfather, who just led the Allied forces to war in World War II, the greatest war in the history of mankind. Barack Obama, the American voters that we've been talking to, comes up well short of all of that. It's one of the areas in which John McCain leads him by a pretty significant margin, 18 points or more. Well, first of all, we know that there have been some great presidents, though, who have been, um, in historical terms, relatively inexperienced. Uh, certainly Abraham Lincoln would be the, the greatest uh, uh, figure of that group. Uh, also, in terms of foreign policy experience, Ronald Reagan didn't have much foreign policy experience. He had none, actually. He'd been governor of California. Uh, Bill Clinton himself had been governor of Arkansas with very little experience in this area. The key is uh, to be uh, a keen listener, uh, to be intellectually curious, and to surround yourself with the right people. And I think uh, Barack Obama's already showing that he's capable of that. John McCain, graduate of the Naval Academy, a prisoner of war in Vietnam, a war hero. His grandfather and his father were probably friends of your grandfather. That's probably right. Did you hear from the McCain campaign? I haven't heard from the cam uh, campaign, but I'm sure that they would respect my right to choose my candidate as well. I think there are going to be huge crossovers this year. Uh, first of all, there's a new generation that's in play, uh, but I think you're going to find some Democrats voting Republican and certainly uh, Republicans, some Republicans voting for Obama. It's just that kind of a year. The Eisenhower family has been deeply involved in the People to People program. Right. Is that an issue that is of particular interest to you? I just spent part of the morning on a panel talking about how America repairs its image in the world. Right. Is that an important criterion for you as well? I think it's critically important. Now, I travel to uh, places uh, east. I go to Russia and the former Soviet Union a lot. I go to Central Asia and, of course, Western Europe. But I'll tell you, our standing in the world is at an all-time low. And this really affects our ability to uh, use the leverage of leadership to uh, stop crises before they start. I think it's, a, it's a order of business number one. When uh, your grandfather was running uh, for president, there was some intramural battles in the Republican Party. Robert oh, Taft yeah. comes right. to mind, obviously. Did you watch Hillary Clinton last night? Well, it was it was fascinating to see, and I think this party is going to pull itself together. I'm not a Democrat, uh, but I think they will pull it together because everybody understands what what's at stake. Susan Eisenhower, I guess we'll have some buttons made for you that say, "I like Ike dash 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 and Barack too." Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> Thanks very much for being great with us. Great to see you. Okay, take great. care. A Democrat.